Okay, so I'm back in Sab's Paradise, just checking out after um, a lot of lockdowns have been lifted here, but as you can see, it's still um, really quiet here. This is um, just gone 12 midday. So I'm gonna have a wander around and um, see how busy it is, see if things have picked up, or see if things have gone quieter. Okay, so we're down, going down Asian Alley now. It's, like I said, it's 12 midday, um, but everything's shut. I, don't, I thought they were all reopening, but... Yeah, so here, yeah, a bit depressing really. I thought it was all back to normal down here. Yeah. It's cook and beer, my favourite Korean. Uh, only open at 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. dinner only. So no lunch menu there. There's the uh, worst Chinese restaurant in Surfers Paradise. Oh, it's up for sale. So that makes a change. Gets the worst reviews on the uh, internet. This one. Always begging people to go in. Not my opinion, just passing on what I've read. Don't sue me. So the hairstyle is open. The tattoo shop's open. Yeah, very quiet. Real estate agent's gone. So yeah, this is uh, Orchid Avenue, so we have been wander here. Um, this is Chop Chop, which was going to be um, 8th Street, but I don't know what happened there. So yeah, this is Chop Chop. This is the uh, Asian food court. Been through it before, I'm showing them around. And again, it's pretty dead. <coughs> no lunchtime trade here. Korean kitchen there, but the building that one seems to be on here. Uh, Bangla Road shut. Indonesian bar, that's the only one that's open. We yeah, haven't been here for probably three and a half months since the last time I come down here. I've moved away to Brisbane, so. It's not my stomping ground anymore, but just walking around now, I thought everything was going to be back to normal. Come out for a day here, get some food and that, but it just seems from shut, you know. So obviously there's not much tourism about. For the Queenslander will be coming here, but it doesn't seem to be the way. Very quiet lane, isn't it? I was just saying. Yeah. I've been here for about three and a half yeah. months and really yeah. Because everyone's allowed to come here on holiday from Queensland, so I can't understand why it's still like this. Yeah, it's such a shame. I thought after those restrictions come away, it would have all picked up a bit, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Look, there's Gillies. Gillies is shut. So um, we're going to make our way down towards Cavill Avenue, um, the kebab shop's on the so, Vietnamese fish and chip shop there. So yeah, we're at Cavill Avenue now, this is the top end, uh, pretty quiet. And 
there's Cavill Avenue heading towards the beach and again you can see there's not many people about uh, and all the bars are shut whether they uh, open on a weekend oh, I can't imagine but yeah. so it's still not a good time to come here um, if you're coming for a holiday really then um, it's now 22nd of the 6th 2020 and this is the current situation at the moment so there's a few shops on the you can see but um, as for bars and everything else and the, the tourists there's um, not really anyone here um, Charlie's that seems to be open Expensive. Um, Kitty O'Shea's, the Irish bar, is open. Um, so, the Hungry Jacks, or oh, they'd be open obviously, them and McDonald's. Cavill Bar, um, that's a nice bar which overlooks the sea, that seems to be shut up there. So, um, you know, we'll head down to the beach. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the beach and see how many people's hanging around down there. So, just walk across them. You can see it's a beautiful day here. The surf rolling in. But, um, yeah, hardly anyone here. Such a shame. I mean, it's the start of the school holidays. Uh, all the way down to Cool and Gatter there in the distance. Uh, Burley would be just there. And all the way up back up towards the seaway and the spit there. Those peppers. Um, yeah, like I say, like, it's uh, beginning of the school holidays and um, the tourism's dead. Such a shame because it's obviously it's normally really packed. There's the uh, Surface Paradise Beer Garden that appears to be open. <laughs> through to the mall there. Krispy Kreme donuts open. Hey Henry, what you got? I got Krispy uh, Kreme Wow, look at all them. They got all yours. You got a box each? Uh, no, Charlie has the caramel one and the Snickers, which is the new one. And I got the blue one and the Sopresh. Nice. Okay, so um, now we're heading up to the Hard Rock Cafe. So it's like there. Kebab shop's alright. There you go, Hard Rock Cafe. I don't know if it's open, I'll just go and check. Again, look, this road, look, down to the island, the island bar. Um, it's all very quiet. Like I said, it's the start of school holidays here, but we're well, only for the private schools, not for all schools. But restrictions have been lifted, and the start of school holidays, and you know, it's still, like it is now. I mean, this is shut as well. Only amping in the evening. So, so 
you want to go anywhere during the day to eat, you're pretty stuffed at the moment. Until, um, until there's more restrictions lifted or all that. I don't know. I really don't know what the answer is. I suppose people from New South Wales and Victoria and that, they can't come here yet. So it's just down to the Queenslanders, but um, we're very quiet. There's the other end of the cavil, the beginning of the cavil, I should say. So much traffic about. Um, Welcome back, we've missed you, but no one's come back yet. So I'm going to make my way now down to um, Chop Chop from the other side, uh, just see what that's like there. So um, along here you've got um, Coffee Club and I think yeah, Steampunk up there. Um, that looks like something. Waxy something. I've done that the other angle. So yeah, we'll see what's um see what's open from this side. Bubble tea place, they're always popular. So the Koreans are uh, our Yum Cha Noodle House, and um, that's in Kyampan. All beer, five dollars. And there's the Korean talk that we saw earlier. Have a look there. Okay, well I've stopped here. And some can get something to eat now at the Korean kitchen and um, one of the only ones one of the few that's open um, so I've got um, stir fried pork and kimchi with rice and a cold drink uh, comes to $11.90 so it's pretty good that we'll see what it comes out like um, so there's a place here uh, people are now I'm a big fan of Korean food so Okay, well now I've got my dinner, so... Mm. Very good. Can't come with that. Very nice. So yeah, this is stir fried pork and kimchi, and rice, and salad, drink, $11.90 with a drink. So, I'm going to wrap up my film in here with Surf's Paradise. Um, yeah, it's been a bit disappointing how quiet it is. But, um, you know, I suppose, for the restrictions, everyone's a bit scared to go out and... Yeah. Alright, catch up with you in the next video.